Millions of small invertebrates proliferate among the floating vegetation. The larvae attract the fish, and these, the egrets, cormorants, and storks. With the rains and the water, millions of mosquitoes are born. But the majority of them never reach adulthood as they are trapped by these specialists walking across the water layers and aquatic plants. The long toes of the jacanas enable them to reach anywhere where there is a floating plant. Light and precise, they lift up the vegetation and catch the invertebrates that live below. The American purple Gananul also uses this same technique, though in this case, instead of an invertebrate, it is going to find a surprise. With the increase in available fish, the double-crested cormorants get ready to breed. These cormorants are normally migratory, but the subspecies Floridanus, which lives in southern Florida, and the Cuban archipelago has become sedentary, perhaps because of the year-round abundance of the mangrove forests. During the mating season, the double-crested cormorants gather in colonies which can contain thousands of couples and build their nests on the ground or in the branches of the different trees of the marshes. The need to find a mate and the concentration of so many cormorants in the areas chosen to build their nests mean there are sometimes fights between neighbors, but these never go further than frantic beating of wings and a shriek or two. On this occasion, the dispute is soon over. Their splashing around has attracted dark shadows beneath the water and the cormorants have learned to respect the sharks that swim in the estuaries.